Japan tears off the mask and turns the once Pacific Ocean into a sea of blood. Wholesale war blackens the sky in the east and west. Heavy damage was done during mass air attacks. War is flaring wide across the Pacific. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Hilltop Hillbox here in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. And uh, Japan turn two, and here we have our purchase. We have tech. That's four. We have an airbase for 15. We have two transports for 14. And we have three men for nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Saving one. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> and we are bound and determined not to lose three ground units at Yunnan again this round. That stunk last time, I'll tell you that. Um, <clears throat> so we're going into Yunnan, lock, stock, and smoke and barrel. And uh, we are going to be taking two fighters off of there. So I'm going to chip out one fighter. And to that. All right. So we have that. We in Hunan. We have one guy going into Kwai Chow in Anhui. We have one guy going into Hopei. And in Shahar, we have one guy going into Suyian. Everybody else is staying put. This is a dude, but uh, we're just going to keep him where he's at right now just to make things all good. For a little recap back here, the Soviets obviously came back into Amur. Uh, we knew you were coming, Joe. Don't think you surprised us at all. We knew. Um, you have surprised us with some other things, though. So kudos to you. Um, so here we go. And uh, because of the horrible rolling in the black tray, I now have the red tray, which is for the rising sun. Don't think it has anything to do with the communist Soviet Union. All right. So moving into Yunnan, I need three hits. So I'm just going to start with my... Tacticals and fighters. I've got six fighters and I've got eight tacticals, which means that six of my tacticals are at four as we pair them up with the fighters, and then two are at three, and then we have six more fighters at uh, at three. So we're going to start with the air power. I've also got two bombers, so if I don't get three hits here, okay, we got lots of hits. So that's it for the Yunnanese forces. But, of course, they do get to shoot back, and they did get one hit. All right, so one Japanese comes off, and three Chinese are done. So that's it. That's the only battle. And so we'll take off that red chip, and we'll stack these guys up here. And I'm going to chip out that artillery. Space is a premium down here. Uh, he's going in there. Oops, that belongs in there. He's going in there, so we can get rid of all these here. So all the battles are done and successful. Then what's going to happen is my aircraft are going to land in Hunan. So all of my planes here are moving to Hunan. They were just in Yunnan, so they can obviously make it. My two fighters in Quang C are going to move up to Manchuria. They can make it. It's just one, two. Wait a second. I know they can make it. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. So one, two, three, four. Uh, the men in G-Hole are going to move back into Manchuria. This uh, mech is going to come down into... Uh, we're going to move him into Chahar. He's going to do that. This sub is going to move up into C-Zone 6. This transport is going to come on over here with a man and an artillery and put them into Manchuria. These two transports down here are going to move up into there. We have the forces in Kiang C and they are going to move into uh, Anway. These forces in Anway are going to move into Chahar. And I believe, I believe I can fly. Well, the Japanese certainly can when they want to, right? Um, 
And then in Formosa, this or in uh, C zone 20, that transport's going up to C zone 6. Stay there. I believe that is everything. Um, okay, sorry for the dead air there. Uh, I'm just going to pause it and take a look at everything and make sure I got it and you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about watching me look. Okay, everything will good except for this uh, mech is going to move back to G-hole. Okay, it's going to be in G-hole uh, on this round. All right. Uh, so everything else is uh, is copacetic. Um, we are now going to finish off a few of our uh, moves. We're going to move the battleship uh, down here to uh, C zone, whatever that is. 36. These two destroyers are going to move back to Japan. And I believe that is everything for the Japanese. I believe that's everything I wanted to do. Hope I'm not forgetting something. It's uh, a little uh, unnerving sometimes playing Japan because, you know, you've got four enemies coming at you and you're like, oh, I leave something alone. But right now we just got one because. We're doing the whole kinder, gentler Japan thing. So we take Yunnan, so we go up one, two, three, and four. All right, so Japan is going to go up to 33, and we have our bonus of 10, because we're being friendly with everybody. So that is 43. And we saved one, so we will have $44 to spend next time. I'm just going to put my build on, and then I'll do my recap. So I'm going to put my three men on Kang Su. The air base, of course, is going to go in Kwai Cha. Ah, kidding. Going to go into there, Hunan. And my two transports are going to go, of course, into Tokyo. Now, uh, over here... Japan spent four bucks, so we move up there. We are now at 33, and China is down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they are down to five on theirs. And the Burma Road is closed. They could possibly open it with their cavalry and a fighter, but don't know if they'll try that. We'll see. All right, here is our recap and we'll start out here in the Carolines two men and an anti-aircraft gun Palau one man Iwo Jima one man in season six we have two destroyers three transports and a sub in Japan proper we have four men one artillery three triple A and we still have six kamikaze so yeah hand bone there you go um, over here in 19, we've got three transports. Down here in 36, we've got three naked carriers. We've got two cruisers, two battleships, two destroyers, one sub. Siam, we have two infantry. In Yunnan, we have three infantry, two artillery, one tank. In Hunan, we have eight tacticals. We have six fighters. I think it's six. Should be six. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Six fighters and two strategic bombers and a freshly minted airfield. Kwai Chow, one infantry. Anwei, one infantry, one artillery. In Kiang Su, we have four infantry. Hopei, we have one infantry. Su Yuan, we have one infantry. Shahar, we have six infantry and two artilleries. Jihol, we have one, what's that thing called? Mechanized infantry. In Manchuria, we have four, five, we have ten infantry, one artillery, five fighters, and one triple A. All right. There we go. That is the, uh, the end of the round. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. So Japan is now going to have forty-four dollars at the end of or to spend next round, and uh, yeah, we're looking 
We're looking pretty rising sunnish over here. We'll see how the Chinese respond here on turn two of Sired Bloodbath Rules YouTube Wars season number three or four. How dramatic.